Hi there, Natalie with you today with a new process video for Altenew. And today I want to give you some ideas on how to use washi tapes and a few more of the Altenew products to customize your Traveler's Notebooks um, covers. I'm a fan of Traveler's Notebooks. This is how I keep my daily activities. I'm a journaler, so I keep a lot of writing. I do my, a lot of my documenting on them, different types. But um, I really like customizing the covers. So I did it already for a blog hop uh, a couple months ago but I never created the video this time I'm going to create the video so you can see how easy it is so I tend to create some of my travelers notebooks I tend to buy a few of them so for this I'm going to show you how I create the cover and the only thing that I do is I measure the width of the existing cover and I'm going to add around I'm going to say a quarter of an inch extra just because I like the covers to hug the inside and when you write quite a bit in the travelers notebooks they tend to to become bulky so having that extra uh, a piece of cover it just hides the inside so this one is a standard traveler's notebook that means that a uh, total width of the traveler's notebook is eight and a half i'm going to cut a nine inch that's going to give me that extra hang on the sides by eight and a quarter and all i'm doing is just scoring in the middle just to create the fold and it's going to be the cover for my traveler's notebook and this is just pretty much what i do on a regular basis but there's also so um, if you don't want to go ahead and start unbinding your traveler's notebook, which I do because it's easy for me to work uh, when especially when I'm adding pictures. But there's other times like the one I'm going to show you when I'm just going to use the traveler's notebook for writing. So all I'm going to do is customize the cover. And for that, I'm going to create, um, I'm really going to cast, I'm going to create a hug for my cover in a way. So all I'm doing is I'm going to measure again, the width of the traveler's notebook. This is a wider one is a line one. So it's five inches. So I'm going to cut an 11 inch rectangle by eight and a quarter. And I'm going to score at half and then around a three quarters of an inch on each side and that's just going to create the folds that's going to hold the cover uh, together now to create this cover i'm going to use the wild flora washi tape because it's really wide and i know it's going to create um it's going to help me when creating this cover so all i'm going to do is i'm going to stretch uh, a piece of the washi tape and I'm not going to cut, I'm just going to stretch it. And then I'm going to actually adhere it to, I'm using a uh, texture cardstock, but I'm going to make sure that the smooth side is the one that gets attached to the um, washi tape. So you're going to see that I use, I'm using my bone folder, but uh, you can use anything that's going to create help, um, create with keeping the washi tape um, attached to the cardstock without any bubbles. Um, you're going to see that I have chosen to just leave extra on the sides and I'm going to show you now why. I like keeping the edges, the, the top and the bottom edges of the traveler's notebook clean. So that means that I'm going to use my pair of scissors just to pretty much fussy cut a straight line following the cover. And I'm going to keep it really, really clean. But the um, piece of washi tape that's hanging, I'm going to say on the sides of the traveler's notebook, I am not going to cut them. I'm going to leave them there. The only thing you're going to see is that I'm going to cut little notches, kind of a little triangle at the edges. Um, and I'm going to show you why right now. So once I've cut all the edges from the top and the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and start using my bone folder to go through the creases and just create the folds. So I'm going to first start the half and then I'm going to go into, remember at the edges, I marked them around 3 8 I'm going to go ahead and use the bone folder to I uh, just crease and fold that part and then I'm gonna wrap that on top of the cover and use the leftover washi tape to hold the cover onto the traveler's notebook so again super simple now here's another idea and again this is using a traveler's notebook that is I just bought it and I have it um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the vibrant spray die cut tape this is the beautiful washi tape and I'm actually gonna embellish the edge of the traveler's notebook um, you're gonna see that I use no bulk on my covers because it just makes it easier to work inside so all I'm gonna do right now is just glue no glue sorry attach the washi tape to the the right edge of the cover and then I'm just gonna fussy cut around all the extra pieces that are hanging off the cover and just use a pair of scissors they're gonna get sticky so I usually clean them with a little bit of a alcohol in between just to keep them um, you know clean from all the 
the adhesive and I usually cut some um, aluminum foil to sharpen them so once I have that I'm gonna put it aside and then I'm gonna come to embellish them after so now for the last one I'm actually gonna use the new um, washi tape sets and I'm gonna use three different ones I'm gonna use the rose petal the sweet dreams and the seashore I'm starting with sweet dreams and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create diagonal lines along the entire um, width of my traveler's notebook and you're gonna see that uh, some of these lines are not gonna show uh, when I create the cover uh, the front of the cover sorry but I'm okay with that because I think it's gonna look nice everywhere so I'm just going from the lightest color to the darkest you seen as uh, this is the sweet dreams and then I'm gonna go into the rose petal and just gonna go from the darkest to the lightest and I'm just I started with the first washi tape and then I'm just eyeballing the separation I'm gonna leave maybe less maybe a 1 16th of an inch of separation that's gonna give me that little soft white line in between the strips of washi tape once I get to the lightest shade of the rose petal which is that really light pink I'm gonna leave um, I'm gonna say maybe run an inch space uh, yeah of just plain white cardstock and then I'm gonna add two strips of the seashore I'm gonna use with the lighter tone of the washi tape of the seashore set and I'm just gonna hit the edge of the um, the bottom edge of the traveler's notebook all I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna take scissors and I'm just gonna fussy cut the edges just to clean the edge so I'm gonna make sure that I go carefully I'm gonna slow down because um, it gets sticky the scissors because of the adhesive so I try to clean them in between once I have that I'm gonna start personalizing my traveler's notebooks so I'm started with the watercolor roses and this a stamp set uh, I love it I love the sentiment it says believe so I'm gonna use obsidian black ink obsidian black ink sorry to stamp the sentiment that huge believe word right at the and that little white space that I left and then I'm gonna bring another sentiment from the same stamp set that says in yourself and that's all it's gonna take I'm actually gonna go ahead and add all the pieces of paper that I actually cut to create my traveler's notebook and you're gonna see that I add an elastic to hold it together and that's how I'm gonna keep it for just to use writing probably or uh, documenting now for the one that I use the vibrant spray die cut I'm gonna add a small little frame and for that I'm using the nesting frames I'm gonna cut it out of craft and then I am using the simply the best stamp set to add a little sentiment that says smile uh, I think it's it's today is a better day uh, so I'm just gonna emboss it with pure white embossing ink just because I want to make sure that it stands out on the craft so you're gonna see right now I'm just gonna stamp it with the ink I'm using pure white uh, embossing powder that's gonna make it really crisp and um, it's very legible so I'm gonna take it off camera just hit it with my heat gun to make sure that I emboss it and then I'm gonna use red line tape just because I want to make sure that it's completely secure to the washi tape and that's about it super simple now for the last one which is the one I use the wild flora washi tape I'm actually gonna use one of the rounded rectangle dies I'm gonna use the smallest one to cut a piece of white cardstock and then I'm gonna stamp my sentiment using the incredible stamp set because there's sentiment that says you are you are very special so I use black obsidian ink to stamp that right I'm gonna say right on the center of the little uh, rectangle and then I'm gonna bring the wildflower doodles and this is the rock um yeah the rock collection just the inks to uh, stamp a few of the smaller leaves just to run the edges just i wanted to don't leave it so white i wanted to bring some of that floral look from the background that i have on the washi tape onto the label so i'm using uh two of the medium colors and the lightest just to stamp some um of the leaves right onto the side of the little rectangle and that's all it's gonna take again i'm gonna use some red line um tape sorry to attach it onto my traveler's notebook and i 
when I created this I realized that I needed to accent the edges of this uh, little little frame just to make it stand out in all the flowers so all I'm gonna do is just run my ink on the edge of the cardstock just to create a little shadow effect and then I'm gonna glue it at the beginning I thought about gluing it in the center but then I like it better in the bottom right corner of my traveler's notebook and love for this turn out now i keep my covers i don't add bulk to them because i know that i'm gonna use writing i'm gonna stamp inside of them so if i add bulk to my covers it just makes it on an even surface to work in the pages inside so i try to keep everything very simple and um non-dimensional so that it makes it easier to work inside and you're gonna see I'm gonna show you a few uh, close-ups and how they come out I love how this come out it takes no time to build them and you can create uh, so many combinations using just washi tape so which is pretty much what I've used um, again there's options of you unbinding your traveler's notebook or you creating your own I've shown you ideas when I created my own showing you ideas with a store-bought uh, and actually unbinding it and another one without unbinding it it's completely up to you I think all the new products are so versatile you can use them for so many things and this is something completely uh, using car making and scrapbooking products uh, to um, customize something and personalize it to make it very you and I hope you try it as always if you have any questions do not hesitate to contact me I would love to give you a hand remember to subscribe to the channel uh, to get a lot of content that's always being added and don't forget to check the blog post thank you so much for joining me bye bye guys